fish disease bacterial disease in fish dropsy fin rot or tail rot bacterial gill disease and columnaris these are the four bacterial disease that you find in fish dropsy the causative agent is pseudomonas punctata dropsy is an old medical term that was once used to describe swelling due to accumulation of fluids in the tissues or body cavities such as the abdomen fish of suffering from dropsy often have a hugely swollen belly it was the most feared disease in carp culture symptoms swollen belly scales stand out eyes bulge anus becomes red and swollen internal organs are affected most notably the liver and kidneys and the spine may become curved fish hangs near the surface of water so this is the picture of a uh, fish uh, with uh, dropsy treatment removal and complete destruction of fishes followed by draining drying and disinfecting the fish pond with quicklime or potassium permanganate uh, is suggested to prevent spread of the disease the infected fishes may be cured by a 2 minutes dip in 5 mg per potassium permanganate solution resistant strains bacteria may be killed by applying streptomycin or chloromycetin or oxy tetracycline along with supplementary food or by injecting the severely infected fishes fin rot or tail rot the causative agent is pseudomonas fluorescens fin rot is one of the most common and it is caused by several types of bacteria and often occurs concurrently with other diseases symptoms fin edges turn white fins fray or fins uh, they start to um, they start uh, um, to do um, to show some rupture in pieces and bases of fins are inflamed entire fin may rot away treatment move sick fish to a hospital tank feed fresh high quality foods treat with 1 is to 2000 solution of copper sulfate for 2 minutes a bath in acriflavin or phenoxythol 1% silver nitrate 2 is to 25000 of potassium dichromate for a week bacterial gill disease the causative agent is flavobacterium banksiophyllum branchiophyllum flavobacterium branchiophyllum the colonization of damaged gills by these organisms in the condition is known as bacterial gill disease and colonization occurs within the gill so you this prevents this prevents a supply of oxygen to blood and results in mortality if left unchecked you can see this is the accumulation this is the accumulation of colony of these bacteria which uh, change in gill color change in gill color occurs plus swelling in gill lamella application of antibiotics like neomycin chloramphenicol etc may be useful in treatment of bacterial gill disease in fish columnaris which is known as cotton mouth and the causative organism is flavobacterium columnare often mistaken for a fungal infection because of its mold like lesions columnaris is a common bacterial infection in aquarium fish particularly live bearing fish catfish white spots on mouth edges of scales and fins fins disintegrate beginning at the edge uh, saddle back lesion near the dorsal so these are the lesions that are formed see near that mouth uh, region also that infection can be prominent add antibiotic in water normally used antibiotics include the canamycin 10 ppm repeated at 2 to 5 days interval and furan 2.1 to 0.3 ppm in which the infected fishes with cotton mouth disease are kept for a long time and tetracycline and copper sulfate dip is also preferred major viral infections in fish viral hemorrhagic septicemia infectious pancreatic necrosis swim bladder infection and papillomatosis 
these are the major viral diseases major viral infections that you see in fish viral hemorrhagic septicemia uh, this is a rhabdovirus one this is caused by a rhabdovirus which is known as viral hemorrhagic septicemia virus viral hemorrhagic septicemia virus vhsv a member of the family rhabdoviridae virus has different states mm, or strains of which occur in different regions and affect different species there are no signs that the disease affects human health vhs uh, is also known as egdward disease and the virus is known as egdward virus the viral hemorrhagic septicemia virus is also known as egdward virus and uh, through water transfer as well as through contaminated eggs this disease reaches the pond and survivors of the disease can become lifelong carriers of the virus contaminating water with urine sperm and ovary uh, it is associated mostly with freshwater salmonids and cultured salmonids infection results in viremia disrupts many organ system uh, the fish becomes dark in color lethargic and exhibit hemorrhages in fish sockets and this ultimately die 200 g to 300 g fish is the one and the fish uh, shows no external symptoms but hemorrhages on the internal organs skin and muscles develop the eyes become bulging and abdomen becomes bloated bruise looking reddish tints to the eyes skin gills and fins occur and the kidney and the liver are the most affected organ kidney swelling occurs bleeding in gills and fins liver discoloration there may also be a nervous form of the disease where fish are constantly flashing and showing abnormal behavior so this is reddish tint which is uh, as a result of hemorrhage uh, living fish afflicted with vhs may appear listless or limp hang uh, just beneath the surface or swim very abnormally such as constant flashing circling due to the tropism of the virus for the brain virus can be isolated from cell cultures and confirmed immunologically by uh, assay assays for virus and neutralization is another technique for detecting these viruses and techniques like elisa pcr may be used for uh, detection of these virus treatment and control mm, there is no effective treatment for of vhs disease fish fish should be brought from the uncontaminated farms infected or dead fish should be immediately uh, removed and disinfected ponds with clean bottoms should be selected the only disinfectant proven effective against vhs is vircon aquatic made by dupont chlorine bleach kills the vhs virus but in concentrations that are much too uh, caustic for ordinary use um, the next one is infectious pancreatic necrosis which is also known as ipn it is caused by infectious pancreatic necrosis virus which is a member of the birna viride family and uh, smallest of the fish virus this, this ipn is the smallest of fish virus Uh, a severe viral disease of salmonid fish heavy mortality of young trout occurs because of this i and uh, transmission horizontal as well as vertical transmission occurs pathogenesis usually entry via gills and digestive tract uh, control measures for this include control measures for this include there is no effective control measure provide optimum food and maintain hygienic environment uh, when you provide optimum food this increases its immuno uh, resistance fungal disease the most common fungal diseases are saprogeniasis which is an ectoparasitic disease also known as cotton wool disease the branchiomycosis the branchiomycosis which is again an endoparasitic disease the ichthyo or fornos which is an endoparasitic disease and aspergillomycosis which is also an endoparasitic the sapro uh, saprole 
Legniasis, the saplo legniasis uh, is caused by uh, also known as cotton wool disease. It's a fungal disease of fish which is caused by uh, uh, the fungus Achaila. Uh, it's a fungal disease of fish and fish eggs caused by member of family Sapro legisia characterized by presence of cotton like white to grey growth on the skin, gills or eyes of fish or in fish eggs and the causative agent is Saprolegenia parasitic and Saprolegenia declina and Achaila hofri are the major etiological agents of Saprogeniasis. Mode of transmission direct contact between deceased fish of fish eggs and healthy one in direct contact through several sources including the water supply, transport vehicles, movement of staff between aquaculture facilities and farm equipment such as net. Clinical signs the appearance of cotton like white to grey growth on the skin, gills, fins and eyes or egg of fish. In severe cases, 80% of body may be covered with fungal growth. Lethargy of fish and loss of equilibrium are the signs. Infected eggs are opaque in color with growth of fungus on egg surface lead to suffocation and become good medium for growth of the fungi. Observation of a cottony proliferative growth on the skin or gills alter the clinician, clinical people to a possible diagnosis of saprolo, saprolegniasis and direct smear from fungal growth. Presence of long branch non septate hyphae help in diagnosis of saprolegniasis and uh, isolation and identification of saprolegnia. Um, using cultural method. Treatment and control uh, medication with uh, phenoxethol or chlormycin through feed is effective. Um, avoiding damage of skin during transportation of fish. Right kind of food with sufficient amount must be provided to fish. Overcrowding of fish must be prevented. Preventing the introduction of new fish to the fish farm until known that fish are free from disease. Disinfection of the equipments and utensils to prevent spread of uh, The next one is branchiomycosis which is also known as gill rot. It is known as gill rot. It is a fungal disease involving gill tissues affecting the most uh, species of freshwater fish. Causative agent is branchiomyces sanguinis. It grows mainly in the blood vessels of gill larches filaments and in the gill lamellae branchiomyces demigrans this fungal species is found in the parenchymal this is found in the uh, this fungal species is found in the parenchymal tissues of the gills the fungi grow at temperature between 14 to 30 centigrade Ichthyophonosis, Ichthyophonosis uh, it is the fungal disease of both freshwater and marine fish. Disease characterized by rough or granular matters of the skin and white to grey white lesions in the internal organs and different parts of the body. Causative agent is Ichthyophonus hoferi, obligate parasite, spherical shape, yellowish brown and has granulated cytoplasm. The fungus lives as an intracellular parasite in the tissues of various organs. The optimum temperature is 10 degrees centigrade. Growth appears within 7 to day, 10 days after inoculation. Mode of transmission, oral route, ingestion of infected raw fishes of fish products or other food transmit disease. Skin abrasions of damaged gills help in transmission of the infection. Carriers help in spreading of the infection through fecal discharges. The disease can be transmitted by contact between diseased fish and healthy ones. Clinical signs, fish with a slight or moderate infection, there is no external signs uh, that can be observed. Fish with advanced infection have rough or granulomatous skin. The term sandpaper effect is used to describe the granulomatous appearance. Lesions found in the internal organs as white nodules similar to the granulomatous lesion of mycobacterium infection. Infection of liver or kidney lead to abdominal distension and ex. Infection of swim bladder which lead to damage of it. Fish lies on the bottom of the pond and die. Curvature of the vertebral column may also occur due to muscle spasms. Diagnosis. Microscopical examination of infected tissue to detect the fungi or spores. 
histopathological examination, isolation and identification of the causes. Treatment and control, there are no therapeutic procedures for treatment of uh, ichthyophonous disease. Prevention of infection is the best method for controlling the disease. Feeding of raw fish or infected food must be prevented. Any infected fish or dead fish must be destroyed. All nets, brushes and utensils used around infected fish must also be disinfected at the same time. Perform regular water changes, keep the tank clean, clean the filter regularly, avoid overcrowding the tank, use flake foods within one month of opening, use disinfectant nets and other equipments. If the tank is well maintained and the fish feed a healthy diet, outbreaks of any bacterial disease are unlikely. And uh, protozoan diseases, white spot disease which is known as ichthyo, uh, ichthyophthirius. Uh, it's an anorexia, loss of appetite and refusing food that occurs followed by rapid breathing, hiding abnormally, resting on the bottom and rubbing and scratching against objects. Appearance of salt like specks on the body and fins occur in white spot. Uh, rising aquarium temperature to 30 degree will kill the parasite and application of quinine hydrochloride at 30 mg per liter is preferred. Costia, which is caused by Costia necatrix, appearance of milky cloudiness on the skin and inflammation, reddening of the skin and bleeding on the underside of the mouth and the pectoral area of the body takes place. Sick fish often rub or scratch against objects. Raising the water temperature to 30 to 32 degrees centigrade, formalin, malachite green and copper sulfate are the drugs of choice for Costia. And velvet or rust is another protozoan disease which is caused by Odinium pullarius. Infected fish may show violent movements, uh, scratching against objects. In advanced, advanced stages, the skin becomes dusty and opaque, followed by shortage of breath. The treatments are based on salts of copper, applying copper at 0.2 mg per liter of water. Use of acriflavin also is effective. So those are the disease that you and